Have you ever seen something online and thought, there is no way that's going to work? Well, that just happened. I just saw a way to take a very old laptop or an old computer and make it usable again without spending any money on upgrading it. And the same thing can also be done to speed up new hardware and get more out of your computer. Look, I am more of a, if it sounds too good to be true, kind of skeptic. So I'm gonna grab my old laptop, which barely runs Windows 7 and give this a go. There's no way this is gonna work. I mean, look at this laptop. It's like a million years old. Oops. 20 minutes later. I am blown away. I don't know why everyone isn't talking about this. Let me introduce you to Tiny11 and Tiny10. Tiny11 is a Windows 11 and Tiny10 is Windows 10, but without all the unnecessary programs and services that are not core to running Windows. I mean, we affectionately call these bloatware. Programs and apps that most people don't need and they just eat up disk space and eat up memory. Does everybody really need 3D Viewer and 3D Paint? I think not. So, NT Dev took all that stuff out of Windows, made it a lightweight version, so it can run on basically any machine. I mean, for Windows 11 to run, you need insane hardware specs. Uh, this laptop has two gigs of RAM and some weird 15 gig hard drives, and it's now running Windows 11. And the best bit is that it's just so easy to do. I mean, let me show you. All right, so first we head over to this website. I'm gonna have a link in the description for you to check out. Here you can select which version of Windows you would like, Tiny 10 or Tiny 11. I'm gonna go for Tiny 11. After you register, you'll be able to see these files. Click on the file and download it. For Tiny10, it's the same thing. You just download the Tiny10 ISO. Now, since we're installing an entire operating system, you can't just install it like you would any other program. So what you need to do is grab a USB flash drive and download something called Rufus, which is a utility that makes your USB flash drive bootable. Now, there are many programs out there that do this exact same thing. I just like Rufus. It's free, it's simple. Website link is in the description below. Click on the download and install the program, which looks like this. Once you've got the program, you're gonna put your USB flash drive into your computer, select the file that we've just downloaded, the Tiny11 ISO, and click on start. It will destroy anything on your flash drive, so make sure your flash drive is empty before you start. Now that you have your flash drive, make sure that your laptop is switched off and just plug it in. When you switch it on, you may see a menu item that pops up that says something like F12 boot or some other F number. All computers have a slightly different variation of that, but hit that number and you're gonna select the flash drive to boot off from. Now your screen should look like this. It's basically doing a regular Windows installation as we normally expect it. Something just to point out here, it says to install this version of Windows, your system needs 52 gigs or larger. I don't have 15 gigs on this computer, but I'm still gonna hit next. And it just installs. And after a little bit of time, it will reboot and it will ask you to finalize the installation. Now, one thing to note here, is that it doesn't ask you to connect to Microsoft servers. It's gonna create a local account. So you can give it any name you want. You don't even need an internet connection for this to work. The only other thing I would call out is that under your privacy setting for this device, you can choose whether to enable or disable your location, but everything else I would definitely disable. Find my device, disable that. Diagnostic data, certainly. Ink and typing, disable that. Tailored experience, no thank you. And advertising ID, hell no. Let it complete its installation and almost there, and there we go. I have Windows 11 running on a computer that's super old with two gigs of RAM and 15 gigs of hard drive space. And just like that, Windows 11 is now running. All right, let's explore around and see what we've got here. Do we have Edge? No, we don't. Do we have Teams? No, we don't either. That's the point. Everything is pretty much stripped down. But Windows security is all here, so the core components still work well. I am not going to log into my Microsoft account, so I can dismiss that. App and browser control, yes, I certainly wanna switch that on. And under the device security, of course, I wanna switch on my memory integrity, just to keep my device nice and safe. Now, before I reboot this computer, I'm gonna go into the Microsoft Store, I'm gonna look up Edge, because remember, it doesn't come pre-installed with that, and we need Edge not just to be able to browse the web and go to my channel and hit the thumbs up button, but we know that Edge is used to install Chrome or any other browser you wanna use. 
What I'm super impressed with is how responsive this is. Remember, this is running on a very old computer, running Windows 11 that normally requires high specs. This is crazy. Now, I did a fresh installation, so it removed all the files on the computer. If you wanna keep your files, I definitely suggest you do a backup first. Now, you obviously are not gonna be able to play high-end games or do video editing stuff, but if you just want normal usage computer that works and not sits on a shelf collecting dust, this is pretty darn sweet. But just a heads up, this is a stripped down version of Windows. By definition, it doesn't have all the Windows 11 features. So expect some stuff not to work. It's also worth mentioning that when it comes to security, Technically, anyone who customizes their own installation like this can sneak in some dodgy software. Some of the stuff floating around the web is definitely dodgy. This version that NTDev has, it looks very promising. So far, it's so clean. So if you're gonna download anything, I would download it from the link in the description. But as always, treat everything with a healthy bit of suspicion. In fact, this is such a good hack that even if you have a newer computer and you wanna make your computer run even faster, you should probably try this. Now this kind of tech stuff is awesome for reusing old hardware. If you have old cell phones laying around, check out this video right over here where I show you five ways to reuse your old cell phone. Also check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in this video, or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.